And I have the pleasure now of introducing to you a gentleman who has just been nominated for a Tony <laughs> for his production. And he's back from Vegas where he was singing backup to Celine Dion. <laughs> um, and so he's in New York getting ready for rehearsals to begin. And tonight he's here on this stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul Rossi. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming out tonight. Um, I'd like to take you back a ways to the year 1986. Uh, maybe some of you here weren't even born yet. I don't know. I can't see very far out there, but it's possible. Um, in 1986, I was in college as a voice student. Um, and that year, the college decided to put on one of my favorite musicals. Um, and there was a part in this show that I thought was made for me. And so I practiced and learned my lines and auditioned. And because of my baby face at the time, um, they felt I didn't look old enough to play the part. So I was in the production, but just not in the role that I wanted to be in. So now we're going to jump ahead to 2015. And just recently, within the past eight months, I started, again, taking voice lessons because I felt that I was missing singing. Um, and so uh, on the second lesson, my teacher and I were talking about songs that we thought would fit my voice and, and songs that I was passionate about. And this song was probably the first or the second song that came back into my mind from 30 years ago. I have often walked down this street before but the pavement always stayed beneath my feet before. All at once am I several stories high, knowing I'm on the street where you live. Are there lilac trees in the heart of town? Can you hear a lock in any other part of town? Does enchantment This is actually my first singing experience as well. <laughs> um, 
during, during the day, I work in financial services, which is really boring and quite the opposite of what I do here. <laughs> but um, it's a job, and it pays me a paycheck, so I deal with it. But if I could, I would be here probably every day, if the audience would show up. Um, <laughs> So back there somewhere, a whole bunch of friends are here, so I want to thank them for coming out and supporting me tonight. And um, another person that's very special to me, um, without whom I probably wouldn't have had the courage to come up here, um, is my voice teacher, Mike. Um, so if he's out there, I thank him very much. <laughs>